Welcome to our graduation liturgy. We have gathered in this beautiful basilica, the Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate, to celebrate this significant milestone in the lives of our students. We are a Catholic school board, and so it is fitting that we celebrate this special moment with prayer in the spirit of our Catholic faith. At our baptism, we receive the light of Christ. Our parents promised to keep that burning brightly. Today, we have lit the Christ candle and over 500 smaller candles to represent each and every student graduating high school at Wellington Catholic this year. In doing so, we are remembering our own baptism and we share it in giving the life of Christ to the world. As we nurture our life in Christ, and we use our gifts in service to others, we too become a light for the world. And let us start with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for calling us in Christ to be salt for the earth and light for the world. Grant that this time of prayer and reflection might strengthen our desire to shine brightly in Jesus' name and to use the gifts that you have given us to serve others in love. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. I reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, call the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, the peace of Christ be with you. As we come to the end of the school year and the end of your secondary school career, we thank God that you've been able to meet the many challenges that have come your way through elementary school and secondary school. In the last year and a half or so, as you know, we've had the additional challenge of COVID with the illnesses, lockdowns, in-class learning, online learning, both a combination flipping back and forth. It has been a constant state of not knowing what is next. But my dear friends, not always knowing is part of being human. Dealing with unexpected challenges and positively dealing with them is what we need to learn. The world is in a constant state of change. And sometimes our own particular area of the world also has its changes from time to time, sometimes big, sometimes small. The key is how do we deal with these changes? I submit to you, have a relationship with God and Jesus Christ. I can tell you with certainty that the one thing that does not change and will never change, God loves you. No matter what happens in our life, no matter what happens in your life, God loves you. God will never cancel you. It is with that knowledge that we can have the peace of Christ within us. This peace is not an absence of conflict, but rather the knowledge that no matter what is happening in our life, God is there helping us, guiding us, giving us the knowledge that he will not abandon us. After all, that is what the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus is all about. Jesus shows us how to trust in the love of the Father while dealing with the suffering and challenges that the world brings. Jesus shows us the intimate one-on-one -on -one relationship we need to have with God that will give us peace. What COVID has taught us is that we cannot go without human contact. We can have all the social media we want, but human contact is the gift that God has given us. We are not created for talking with people online or texting although the times it does help. The one positive from COVID is that it has shown us that God has created us to be with each other in person. There is no substitute for that. My dear friends, the challenges of life are easier to meet when we have an intimate personal relationship with Christ. God came to earth and became human so God could have a face-to-face -face relationship with us. The world changes God does not. God still wants to have that relationship with us face to face. All God asks of us is that we love God and neighbor. This love is not an emotional love, but rather this love means wanting the best for others, being with them in person. And hopefully soon we won't have to have two meters apart and masks and all that. Please allow me this one soapbox moment. Remember, as I said earlier, God has not canceled us. Please do not cancel others because they have different ideas or views than us. We may actually learn something valuable and essential. So please be open to others. My dear friends, as you journey into the next phase of your life, I ask, I beg, do not lose touch with God. Jesus will always be there with you during the good, the bad, and the ugly of life. He 
He will give you what you need to deal with it all. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for all the graduates from high school. You have blessed them during their years in school with wisdom, friendship, and skills. You can continue to challenge them to make this world a better place because of their education. Help them to look forward to their next steps, continuing in their education or entering the work world. Particularly help those who are seeking employment to find a job suitable for their education. Give them faith and a sense of purpose in their next steps. Show them how to serve others in effective ways. And may they be always aware in everything they do that they will find fulfillment in doing your will. That you will be with them always. That you will bring the completion the good works you have begun in them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless you and in your journey to come. Amen. Jesus taught us that when we pray his name, God our Father will respond. The response to our petition is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that the desire of its youth to see the gospel message take hold in our world may help renew the faith of God's people everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations and their leaders, the God, that God will inspire them to take bold steps to end violence and promote justice through dialogue and understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all fathers, as we prepare to celebrate Father's Day next weekend, and for those who have guided and supported us with the Father's love, that God will bless them, watch over them, and assist them as they share life and love with their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the spirit of gratitude, that we may recognize all the gifts and opportunities that God has given us and show our gratitude by using them for God's glory and the good of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the graduating class of 2021, that they may be signs of Christ's presence in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are ill, that God will touch the sick and return them to wholeness, free the human family from the coronavirus, and speed the distribution of vaccines, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all students and staff who will be leaving us at the end of this school year, that they may continue to be the light of Christ for others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. As we remember the blessings of this school year and look forward to the summer and fall, let us unite our prayers spoken in those in our hearts with the prayer of Jesus, using the words he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, we give you thanks for bringing these young people to this special moment in their lives. We ask you to accompany them as they face new adventures and challenges. May the paths they take always lead to you and to the eternal joy that is their inheritance through baptism. We make this prayer through your name, our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Now let us go in the peace of Christ, carrying our light out into the world to use our God-given gifts. God gave us all of our gifts to love and to serve one another in the Lord. Thanks be to God.